Hey guys, the 2019 GCSE Science Predictive Papers are now available to download from my website. If you've downloaded the ones that were there already, they were called Set A, they're the 2018 ones, they are still good papers, you should still do those papers. I've just written you more papers to do based on what was on last year's, um, what I've learned writing their practical books with Oxford, and uh, what I've learned talking to the examiners. And the the six papers, the two chemistry, two biology, two physics, there's things that I've put in there that we know are going to come up on the exam. For example, pretty much every year there is going to be a rounding error that comes up. Pretty much every year there's going to be an anomalous result that comes up. Pretty much every year there is going to be a um, graph that you have to draw an interpretation question. So it's not like you can just download physics paper 2 and do that paper because you, then you're going to miss the skills that I've tried to test in biology paper 1 and the skills that are in biology paper 1, like a numerous results, might come up in a chemistry paper. So it's not just the, the subject specification that while we're testing when I've written these papers for you, it's stuff that we know is going to come up and the skills are applicable to any subject, like interpretation, evaluation, like drawing graphs. So now on my website there are the 2019 predicted papers, the 2018 predicted papers and then there's another set of practice papers for you. So there are now three papers on my website for every single paper that you'll sit. So this is in addition to the past papers, the specimen papers that the exam boards have released. I know there are lots of bits all over the place and they're like Oh, there are a lot of things I've written with GCSE Science now, so you can get them all as a bundle which will give you a bit of money off and make sure you don't miss any of the bits out. Now the last thing about the 2019 predictive papers is that I've hidden some books in there. Um, I've generally hidden like characters and places from the books that I've been reading at the time or books that I've really liked and anyone that can give me a list of all the books I've hidden in the 2019 papers will get um, a prize of some description I haven't worked out yet. Anyway, it's just a bit of fun for hopefully a little bit of light relief and amusement when you're doing the papers. So good luck guys, and um, there's lots and lots of other stuff coming out soon. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>